In this video, I'll show how to create an interactive open house map that works seamlessly on both desktop and mobile. It's perfect for real estate agents, rental property managers, or anyone who needs to share multiple locations with clients. You can embed this map on your website, share it with buyers, or send it in message, and it's completely free. And the best part, when someone views this map on their phone, they can tap on a location, click directions and it opens straight into Google Maps for navigation. Let's start by preparing the property data. In this Excel file, I have all the property details. It includes the property address, number of bedrooms and bathrooms, square footage, price, open house date and time, name of the realtor and their phone number, notes for the buyers, and a link to the listing page. You don't need to include all these details. At minimum, you just need the property address. Once your map is created, you can edit or update the data anytime. Now go to Google My Maps. The link is in the video description. Google My Maps lets you create custom maps for free. I have several other videos on Google My Maps. Please check the video description for the other topics. Let's start by creating a new map. I'll click create a new map. It says maps data will be saved in Google Drive. I'll click create. Let's rename the map to open house map. Now we'll upload the open house data from the Excel file. Under untitled layer, click import. I'll browse for the Excel file. I'll select the file and click open to start importing. Here I need to select the column that contains the address. The pins will be placed on the map based on this column. I'll select the address column and click continue. Now I'll select a column to use as the title for the location pins. I'll select the address as the title for the pins and click this finish button. In a moment, it created the location pins based on the addresses. When I click on a pin, it opens a pop-up showing all the details from the Excel file. Now you have got a better idea of what data to include based on your use case. You can change the icons and colors of the location pins. You can change them individually or apply a style to all of them at once. Let's first change the base map style so the map looks cleaner. I'll select this base map option here and I'll go with this view. Now the map looks cleaner. Right now the pin style is set to uniform style so all the pins look the same. To change the pin style, click the style icon under all items. Then select a color and an icon you prefer. Now we can see that all pins have been updated to the new style. If you want to style the pins individually, click on this uniform style and change this to individual styles. Now you can click the style icon next to each address to change its look. I'll change this to green and select this icon. Let's change this. Or you can click directly on any pin and select style and choose the color and an icon. You can also group the pins by sequence numbers. This will number them based on the order in your Excel file and you can still change the color afterwards. Let's switch the style back to uniform style. Here you get an option to set labels for the location pins. You can use any column from your uploaded data. For example, you can show the open house date or you can show the property price or you can show the bedrooms and bathrooms or anything else that's helpful. Now our open house map is ready. Let's see how to share this map with other people and how to embed it on a website. First, I'll change the base map style to this one. You can select any style you like. Now I'll click the share button. Here I need to turn on the option anyone with this link can view. Then I'll copy the link using this button. Let's preview this in a private browser window. This is how the map will appear when someone opens the shared link. When they click on a pin, it opens a sidebar with all the property details. If there's a link in the data, they can click it to visit the page. You will see a direction button at the top. 
Clicking on it opens Google Maps and start navigation from the viewer's current location. The navigation starts when they use it on a phone. If they are on a computer, they can enter their current location to see the route and distance. Now let's embed this custom open house map on a website. Click the three dots menu here, then select embed on my site. It shows an iframe code. We'll paste this into the web page where we want to display the map. I'll disable this option includes owner's profile picture and name. Now I'll copy the embed code. I'll click this OK button. On this WordPress website, I have added a new page. Here I'll add a new HTML block and I'll paste the copied code. I'll adjust the iframe height to 680 pixels. Then I'll save the page. Let's see how the embedded map looks now. Here is our custom embedded Google map. Clicking on any pin opens the sidebar with all the property details we added. Here in the menu, there's an option to set the default view for the map. You can zoom in or zoom out based on your pin layout and then set that as the default view. The next time someone opens the shared link or visits your embedded map, they will see the view by default. Although they can zoom in and zoom out on the map, the map is completely interactive. Here is how the embedded open house map looks on a phone. Tapping on a pin opens the sidebar with all the listing details. The navigation button launches the Google Maps directly. Now let's see how to edit the map data. You can update or delete the location pin details. Click on this layer options menu. Select open data table. Double click on any cell to update the information. To delete a pin, right click on the row number and select delete row. The pin will be removed from the map immediately. Any changes you make will show up on the embedded map too. To add a new pin, click the add row button, enter the address then fill in the other details. And that's it for this video. I have got more videos on Google Maps and geocoding that might help with your use case. Please check the video description for the links. Thanks so much for watching.